What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on September 13th, 2018. So starting off here with the focus on what is available now, and there's a lot that has released recently. Now some people, especially if you're on the West Coast, you may have seen some of these items out for a while now, but you know, it takes a while for um, figures to spread across the country. So uh, first of all, the Box Lunch exclusive Luis Belcher from Bob's Burgers is available. That one has been on the website and has been available in store as well. Do keep in mind that that figure is actually for a good cause as well. When you buy that figure, Box Lunch does donate 10 meals to Feeding America. So again, that is for a good cause. It's not just about the pop. Um, also, you see the Coraline figures. Those have been showing up. They're available on various websites. You can look for them in store as well. Do remember that there is a Chase variant within that wave. I'm also here the latest Saturday Night Live figures are available and once again those have been available on various websites. I've seen them on Hot Topics website. I think the only one I haven't seen yet is Drunk Uncle on Hot Topics website. But like I said, you know, these should be, should be pretty easy to find. Um, Hot Topic also has the super cute plush of uh, Niffler available. And then some other figures here, you see the uh, Lydia Dietz Rock Candy figure. That one was just revealed by Funko, I think, and um, yeah, it's already become available, so that moved pretty quickly there. Now, Lucy, the Factory Barnes & Noble exclusive, that one has been out for like a week or so, maybe a little bit longer. I'm just sharing that one again because I did want to point out that it is on their website again, and I will put the link in the description for anybody that has not picked that up yet, or if you know you weren't able to find it in store. The Marvel uh, Studios 10th anniversary, or yeah, 10 years basically, um, their pint sized heroes, those are available. They've been available for a little while, just want to make sure I point that out. The Knight Rider Pop Ride, or I think this is actually considered a Pop Ride. I don't know if they call this a deluxe. I think it is a Pop Ride. That one is available. Um, I haven't seen it in store myself yet, but I know I have seen it online. And then the Venomized Ghost Rider very cool looking pop here that is a walmart exclusive that has appeared on their website more than once i don't think it's listed at the time of this recording of course you can check for that in store and keep checking for it online as well and uh, i'm definitely on the lookout for that particular figure so the latest item on the funko pop-up shop i should say not just funko shop but the funko pop-up shop was this bigfoot variant here um him with the marshmallow on the stick and um the fire from the flame actually from the marshmallow is actually glow in the dark i think this is a pretty clever pop figure um one that definitely caught people off guard because funko did not upload or make this available at their usual time so it seems like you know they're still making those efforts to try to throw off people that try to cheat the system and get extra figures and things like that so you know you just got to stay on your toes like i always say when it comes to the funko pop-up shop because they are mixing things up so just be vigilant if you want to try to get some of those exclusives that they have Moving on here with some figures that should be on the way very soon. I don't have a specific day, but I know that these should be out by the end of the month. And that does include the um, Holiday or Christmas SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Star, of course, from the SpongeBob series. And then the latest Flash figures, which I've shared these probably two or three times previously now. But I'm just pointing them out again because, again, Funko did the official reveals for all these figures that you see here. And yes, they all should be out by the end of the month. Some other official reveals, or at least the figure, or I should say the items here on the left, these were officially revealed by Funko. These Destiny blind bag keychains, um, these should be on the way very soon, and there are some GameStop exclusives in the mix there. And then there are more European Premier League pops on the way. I still have no idea about availability here in... Um, in the US I don't know what's gonna happen with that I know that these have been available over in Europe so again I'm really not too sure about the availability if I learn any more about that or Funko puts out more official word about where to get these figures then trust me I will share that with you all so some random bits of information here a flocked E or Dorbs figure is on the way right now I don't know where that's going to be exclusive you know we'll just have to wait and see about that um, as far as uh, the Fantastic Beast sequel is concerned. There are some more figures on the way, including the mystery minis. And I know this picture is kind of difficult to see, but you know, you can kind of sort of see the rarity of the figures there. And then also there is that baby Niffler pocket pop on the way as well. Um, the latest Overwatch figures have been making their way to stores. Um, I know some people are definitely into Overwatch and you know, the pop figures. And I really do like this variant of Torbjorn here. So this is a Best Buy exclusive that you can pre-order 
in store it releases on tuesday september 18th um, so definitely keep your eyes open for this one it should be become available on their website as well and if you buy the venom pops at walmart they do come with movie cash to see the venom movie uh, although i think a lot of people that are after these you may have picked them up by now but just saying if you have not picked them up yet um, do keep that in mind that walmart does have that movie cash along with them and then as far as Target exclusives are concerned, there are a lot of them that are street dated for October 5th. So if you go to a store and you pick up something and they say they can't sell it, I mean, they might be telling the truth. It might actually be register locked. Although, of course, in that case, it shouldn't be on the sales floor, but it happens sometimes. So just bear that in mind that I think some Target stores may be selling stuff early. Some may stick to the street date. I, I guess it just all depends. Some more random bits of information here. The Jurassic Park Jeep, I feel like I've been bringing this up repeatedly, but yes, that still is on the way. Some people have been asking about that, so I definitely wanted to put that out there again. Yes, that still is on the way. Um, now, during SDCC, Conan O'Brien, he was giving away some of his pops on his website, and he's actually doing that again, but this time it's actually even better because he's giving away bundles. So all the pops that you see there in the bottom left, basically all of the Conan pops that were available for SDCC, um, this year they come in a bundle and you have the chance to win those to make it easy for you all i am going to link that down in the description as well so you can go ahead and enter that giveaway as far as the ken griffey jr pops are concerned they're still on the way they're going to release at the seattle mariners game on september 29th so for those in attendance they will get a chance at those pops you know obviously i'm sure there's some um you know major league baseball fans and ken griffey jr fans out there that can't make it to the game i would just check you know second market um i always say when it comes to those sporting events there's bound to be some people that get the figure that really aren't you know big time collectors or maybe not even be in the funko pops at all that will sell them at a reasonable price so just be on the lookout for them um, also you see here there is a mr garrison pop on the way i'm jumping to that because i know that's jumping out at some people this is a specialty series figure it will be available with some online retailers and also in some comic shops you know those local type of shops you probably won't see this with major retailers though but yes mr garrison is on the way and then you see here in the middle of the screen these uh, general mills pop pez dispensers these are actually going to be part of a, Bl a Black Friday box. Yes, Funko's already putting something out there about Black Friday, even though it's like two months away or so. But yeah, um, these are going to be within a Black Friday box. So, you know, good luck to completion is trying to get all of those. But I think more than likely, you know, with Black Friday boxes, people tend to purchase mul multiples trying to get different items. So you might be able to trade with people or to uh, purchase them, hopefully at a reasonable cost. Now, some information here that you don't necessarily see images for on the screen. Uh, Walgreens may have some horror exclusives online starting tomorrow. So do make sure that you check Walgreens website, especially if you've not been able to track down some of their recent ex exclusives. And I have no guarantee about what they're going to put on the website. Just check the website, you know, like I'm going to do and see what they actually make available on the website. And then also for collectors outside of the U.S. and Canada, make sure that you check out Pop Culture's website, especially if you missed any SDCC exclusives. They do have some listed. They also have some bundles listed as well for SDCC exclusives. So again, if you're outside of the U.S. and Canada, because they do have restricted shipping, if you're outside of the U.S. and Canada, make sure you check out Pop Culture's website and you will see some SDCC exclusives there. So focusing right now just on Hot Topic, um, something that I know jumps out right away to some people here is this Evil Cuphead figure, which is actually supposed to release next month. So it's releasing in October, and that's very fitting, you know, for the design of that figure. And of course, the, um, you know, the next wave of Cuphead figures are releasing pretty soon as well. In fact, they're pictured on the back of the box for that Evil Cuphead figure. Um, the Beetlejuice and Tux and Lydia Dietz in the wedding dress. I just wanted to give a reminder again. Yes, those are on the way very soon. I know some people are definitely waiting on those. They are on the way very soon here. Now, as far as the upcoming horror box is concerned, this is going to release on the 20th. It's supposed to run for $32. And um, along with that, the box will include four items and a chance at a chase. So there will be a chase within the mix there. 
and uh, also I do want to point out here that um it could possibly include a Beetlejuice plush that's not a guarantee that's a possibility and it also again this is not a, a guarantee but it could include a new leather face pop basically the one where he's wearing the mask that has the makeup on it so that's a possibility we'll have to wait and see but they are going to do an official reveal when I say they of course I'm referring to Hot Topic they are going to do an official unboxing before the box actually goes on sale now as far as the upcoming Comic Cons are concerned, of course there is NYCC and then also LACC, that's Los Angeles Comic Con. Um, Hot Topic is going to have exclusives for both of those and their NYCC reveals are coming up very soon. So these figures here, I've shared these before also except I uh, did not know about the chase previously, but you see these Star Wars holiday figures here that does include Darth Vader and Darth Vader has the chase and with the chase. The, can the candy cane actually is glow in the dark, you know, which is kind of clever. I mean, it works, you know. Then also you see here Yoda, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2 all with their holiday outfits going on. So these are up for a fall release, but it seems like some of them are actually already appearing in box lunch stores. So if you have box lunch in your area, you can go in and start looking for these. But, you know, people in other areas may have to be patient and wait to see what happens with these. Now the following information, the next couple of screens, all this information here is not completely 100%. So, you know, take it all with a grain of salt. We'll see what happens with these. Um, there is a rumor that there could be a flocked Jollibee pop on the way, you know, a variant of the Jollibee pop. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, Fugitive Toys is getting an exclusive black chrome flash. Now this figure, you know, this figure does look legit. Um, the rumor part of it though, the thing that's not completely guaranteed is that it could be a NYCC exclusive. Really don't know if that's going to be the case or not. We'll just have to wait and see on that. And then some other upcoming Mickey Mouse figures could include a plain crazy one. And that one, I've, I've heard that rumor previously. Then also a holiday variant of Mickey Mouse, which would make a lot of sense. And also a band concert uh, variant of Mickey Mouse. So we'll see what exactly happens with these. And then focusing on NYCC again, which by the way, I know some people have been asking, when does it start? October 4th. Mark your calendars, people. October 4th. Make sure you do mark your calendars. Give yourself a reminder because that is when the exclusives should go on sale. So as of right now, it seems like the exclusives will include Dum Dum, who is a Hanna-Barbera character. I'm not actually familiar with him, but you see the artwork for the character there. Also, Majin Vegeta, which I forgot to share in the last um, Funko News video. I did share it in an unboxing video. But yeah, Majin Vegeta um, is going to be... a uh, in, excuse me, NYCC exclusive, and also he's going to release later on with Over9000.com. I actually wasn't familiar with this website, but yeah, Over9000.com, they should get this figure sometime after NYCC. And then I'd been sharing previously this uh, Chrome Batman figure that I thought was red, but a closer look of it makes it seem like it is orange, and it actually is listed as an orange Chrome Batman. Kind of odd to me, it seems like red would make more sense, but um, you know, I'm sure it'll happen eventually regardless, but right now it seems like it is an orange chrome Batman. There's also that blue chrome Vegeta, and both of these chrome pops seem like they are going to be with Toy Tokyo. I mean, you see the stickers on the box, so that seems pretty official there. And then once again, the glow-in-the-dark glow funky Phantom is on the way, as well as Supergirl. And still, with the focus here on NYCC exclusives... Killer Frost, I had to make sure I shared this image nice and large for you all to check out because I know a lot of people have really been wanting Killer Frost as a pop figure. So yes, it does seem like she's going to be an NYCC exclusive. And um, I know some people already are fretting over her being an exclusive, but I think there is a possibility that she's going to be with a major retailer like maybe Hot Topic where she'll be pretty easy to get. So do not stress over that. And that's not 100% official that she'll be with Hot Topic, but I think she will be with a major retailer and decent numbers so do not fret over that right now and then also again these are just better images of that classic Wonder Woman which um, originally I was saying 80s it actually goes back to her original design I believe so this is a way back classic Wonder Woman design there so yeah that's all the information there I, was, I tried to be very quick with this one because um, 
you know, right now the weather is holding up pretty well where I am, but you never know what can happen. And I want to make sure that I get this video out for you all. So definitely do make sure that you drop a like on this video. That would be very much appreciated. Um, let me know your thoughts about NYCC, you know, all the possibilities. And just in general, let me know what's going on with you and your collection, you know, and the hunting that you've done recently. But yeah, that's going to do it for this latest edition of Funko News. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. And I will talk to you all again real soon.